What's going on everybody? My name is Box and welcome to our first episode of Panduary, a month-long Pandaren event created by Twitter user Kath and sent to us by viewer Lady Demontis. Thank you so much for creating such an awesome love letter to Pandaren. And I encourage anybody watching this to go on Twitter and check this out and basically just take part in the event. Post some awesome Pandaren screenshots. Post your appreciation for the Pandaren. They're an awesome race. So let's get to today's topic, the Pandaren in the new year. They're going to be very, very interesting in my opinion. In patch 8.3, they have a heavy role in Visions of Enzoth and the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. The Veil has been returned to its former glory and at the same time is under siege by the Black Empire. I know a lot of Pandaren RPers are very, very excited to have the Veil back to its former glory and I can't blame them for this. The state Garrosh left it in was, well, not quite the best, so. It's going to be very awesome to have this back. We're joined by the Hoosian and Tashui monks defending their respective shrines during these assaults. This is actually my favorite part of the Veil of Eternal Blossoms because one, they're actually doing something, but the thing that's very neat is there's other races that are Hoosian and Tashui monks, which I find very fascinating that we're actually going into the fact that these aren't necessarily factions, but ideologies. Just a nice little tidbit for fans that I think a lot of people will appreciate. We also get to see a lot of fan favorites, such as the Shadow Pan, the Golden Lotus, and many other characters like Lorewalker Cho, Chen, Lili, races like the Manted, the Mogu, they're all back here, and this is like a love letter to fans of Pandaria, and has me quite excited to play Patch 8.3. At the time of this recording, I haven't touched any of the main storyline, just some of the gameplay on the PTR. The one other thing that's coming out this year, most likely, is Shadowlands. And to be honest, guys, I don't see the Pandaren playing much of a role here. However, if I did have to guess two characters we might see there, Emperor Shaohao or Kang the Fist of First Dawn. I don't really think it's likely, but perhaps we'd see them maybe in Bastion because they were defenders of Pandaria. I think that would be kind of interesting. Overall, I don't see the Hoosian and the Tashui really fitting in here, but I'm excited to see what we could get for Pandaren. The thing I'm maybe hopeful for for is my good friend Kai and I were talking about this, but maybe we could get an Ebon Blade Pandar at NPC. I think that would be really awesome. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Tune in daily for more Panduary topics. Please check out Kath's Twitter, and please basically just take part in the event. Post some awesome Pandaren stuff with the hashtag Panduary on Twitter. Encourage it. Pandaren are an awesome race in World of Warcraft. Honestly, I love how unique they are, and just their visuals are awesome. So basically, I'm going to try and have a video every day this month for Panduary related to the topics. However, if I can't get a video, there will at the very least be a screenshot on my Twitter. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>